take a step back into history, tracing the trajectory of China's development in ballistic missile technology, the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force, PLARF, has come a long way since its inception. From the production of its first ballistic missile, the Dongfang-1 DF-1, in the 1960s, to the unveiling of the Dongfang-17 DF-17 in 2019. A recent report from the Middlebury Institute of International Studies paints a picture of the PLARF's newest addition to its missile arsenal that carries grave implications for regional security in the Western Pacific. At Base 61 in Yang'an, Fujian Province, the PLARF is deploying the DF-17, a medium-range missile with a hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV, to replace short-range missiles. This advancement indicates a significant step in the PLA's long-standing mission to gain the upper hand in potential conflicts in the Western Pacific. These missiles, reaching speeds between Mach 5 and Mach 10, have a range of 1,800 to 2,500 kilometers and are capable of circumventing U.S. missile defense systems like the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD, Standard Missile 3, SM-3, and Patriot systems. What makes this upgrade particularly concerning is the geopolitical tensions in the region. Taiwan, a stone's throw away from China's southeastern provinces, is within striking distance of these hypersonic weapons. The DF-17s combined with the approximately 1,000 short-range missiles still aimed at Taiwan could potentially form the first wave of an attack on Taiwan, reaching the island in as little as 6 to 8 minutes. The PLARF's strategic advancements are not limited to hypothetical scenarios. The force, established as a full-service branch in 2016, has been actively involved in live-fire drills and simulated attacks against Taiwan in August 2022 and April 2023. The unveiling of the DF-17 and the DF-ZF hypersonic glide vehicle during the National Day military parade on October 1, 2019, marked China's first operational hypersonic weapon system, a clear indication of China's military ambition and technical prowess. The design of the DF-17 is noteworthy. It utilizes the rocket booster from the DF-16B short-range ballistic missile, maintaining a fairly unchanged structure. The key innovation lies in the hypersonic glide vehicle technology. This system follows a suppressed, lower altitude trajectory and accelerates to Mach 5, making it a tough target for conventional anti-ballistic missile defenses. The glide vehicle is highly maneuverable and extends the range of the missile, making it a formidable force in the region. China's commitment to advancing its ballistic missile capabilities and its strategic military positioning brings into sharp focus the growing tension in the Western Pacific. The deployment of the DF-17 hypersonic missiles not only symbolizes a significant leap in China's military technology, but also raises concerns about the potential targeting of Taiwan and the circumvention of U.S. missile defense systems. The dynamic landscape of ballistic missile technology continues to shift, and with it, the balance of power in the region. As we move forward, it is crucial to understand the role of these technological advancements in the broader geopolitical context, the implications they carry for regional security, and the potential they hold in shaping the future of warfare.